My fellow Catholics, there's something that I just kind of realized and I'd like to share with you. This is kind of an impromptu video, but um, if you haven't watched the video uh, entitled Our Lady of Fatima documentary, Like No Other, that I published a couple of weeks ago, I highly recommend that you do. I think you're going to find it very insightful, if not a somewhat eye-opening. But one of the things that I brought up was the fact that um, the six visitations of our Blessed Mother at Fatima, Portugal, they correlate to each individual day of the week. And all six apparitions are happen on a specific date or specific day of the week. So May 13th was on a Sunday. Uh, June 13th was Wednesday. July 13th was Friday. August was Monday. September 13th was Thursday. And October 13th was, of course, Saturday. The one day that's missing is, of course, Tuesday. And that would complete the whole week. Now, when I uh, did this, I did not remember, and I did read the whole entire first uh, book of Ferrer Michelle's, but somehow I skipped through it, the fact that the Blessed Virgin had actually indicated that she would return on the seventh visit. Now, one of the, in my video, one of the most interesting points that I found was that um, St. Pope... Gregory the Thirteenth uh, became Pope on May Thirteenth, fifteen seventy-two, and he's the one that's responsible for the Gregorian calendar because the Julian calendar, the days had wandered away from <coughs> uh, Easter Sunday, happening um, right after the equinox the spring equinox so easter always falls on the first sunday after spring equinox after the first full moon and the spring equinox changes back and forth so that's why the easter varies back and forth so he's the one responsible for that now because of the gregorian calendar is why we have the ability to see that the six visitations happen on a specific date because on the Julian calendar, that would not happen. So the Gregorian calendar and the fact that he was became a pope on May 13th, St. Pope Gregory the 13th, which is, again, a theme, um, was very interesting. Now, when we look at the Ferrer Michel's book, and I... I just happened to be reading it one night when I couldn't sleep. And um, this is the interesting part is on chapter 5, May, Sunday, May the 13th. If you scroll down to the actual words spoken, according to Sister Lucia, uh, I have come to ask you to come here for six months in succession on the 13th day at the same hour later on i will tell you who i am and what i want afterwards i will return here yet a seventh time now that is very very interesting the the seventh time there was no seventh time with the children but see in portuguese afterwards the word afterwards would be the push or the push or ed push the push means later on or afterwards but it, i wish i had the portuguese because it would be interesting to see the actual uh wording because that could very easily indicate a future event but not necessarily one right after those six visitations because she asks for six months in succession, not seven months in succession. So that tells us that the th seventh one 
will not be in succession, but yet she will return here a seventh time. So, and we scroll down to, let's see if I can find it here. Um, as I was reading this, Ferrer Michelle made it, actually mentions the fact that it is an interesting um, point and that it puzzles many people. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, afterwards, I will come back here a seventh time. This last sentence, long omitted by historians, no doubt because of its mysterious character, remains for us uncertain in meaning to this day. So if we look at the footnote down here, uh, Canon Barthas himself in many of his works, Fatima, the Great Miracle of the 20th Century, 1952, and again in the last edition of it was Three Small Children, 1973. So it was known, but some reason that's kind of left out, even in the, in the clip that I put on there on that video at the beginning of uh, uh, Our Lady of Fatima video, that those words are not spoken, only to come here in six months succession. And the seventh one is left out. So are we possibly looking at Blessed Mother coming back on the 13th of November? As I put it on the video, the 13th of November is a very um, final date because it's, a, it's exactly the end of of the 500 years of torment in the book of Revelation. 500 years at the start of the Reformation of 1517. So, you have, which, November 13th is October 31st in the Julian calendar. So, if, if you haven't watched the video, I highly recommend you to do. It, it will open up your eyes quite a bit. But our Blessed Mother came in an incredible fashion to give us a message, not just to amend our, our lives. Because as I was watching another video on uh, Father Gregory Hess, I mean, that's, that's the goal of the church is to convert and for people to con uh, change their lives, repent, it's just repent, repent. So... Yes, that message is always in every apparition of the Blessed Mother, but this had special meaning. This is a, um, I mean, this is looks like it's going to be a head-on collision. I mean, this is going to, everything is pointing to, if you look closely at all the media, which is difficult, I know, because um, it's a lot of the stuff you just don't want to watch. But so much is hidden in the media about 11 9, 9 11. Well, 11 9, 9 11 does not necessarily mean a specific date. It could be 11 and 9. 9 mean in the Roman calendar, in November would be 9. In uh, the Hebrew calendar, the first part of November would be the ninth month of the Hebrew calendar in this particular year. So, 11 9 could just represent a month. It doesn't necessarily have to be a date. And it also all pointing towards this November 13th of something major happening. So I just want to put that, this out there for anyone. Please comment if you will. Tell me what you think. But there's something there. There's something there. I mean, our Blessed Mother was not out for a Sunday walk for six months straight. Just to tell, I mean, she came out, hey, wake up. Stuff is going to happen. And she's been right ever since, and even before that. So, um, yeah, I there's just so much more. I might have to do another video on just some other things that I found. But uh, tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts. Put some comments in there and let us know.